For many, eating late at night can derail your weight loss goals. But what if you are starving and you don't want to wake up in the middle of the night hungry? So in this video, I'm going to share eight nutritious bedtime snack options, all with less than 200 calories that can promote good sleep whilst also supporting a healthy weight. If we haven't met before, I'm Maria and I'm a registered dietitian. Welcome to the channel. Now let's get into the video. Now eating too late at night can make it harder to manage your weight, but poor sleep can also hinder your weight loss goals. So sometimes we need to find a balance. If you're truly hungry, a small nutrient dense snack with less than 200 calories is generally fine, but choosing your snacks wisely here is key. Chosen well, some snacks contain compounds that can improve your sleep. And one that I'll reveal towards the end has actually been shown to increase your metabolism the next day and make you feel less hungry the next morning, which if you're trying to lose weight is pretty convenient. So we're going to start with snack options that are high in melatonin, the hormone that helps induce sleep. And tart cherries or tart cherry juice are natural sources of melatonin. And studies looking at tart cherries have shown benefits in terms of sleep. But since juice is naturally high in sugar, it's best to limit your intake. So what you could do, similar to the viral TikTok Sleepy Girl Mocktail, is take half a cup of tart cherry juice and mix it with half a cup of sparkling water. And then you have a lower calorie, lower sugar, sleep friendly drink. And for reference, an eight ounce or 240 ml glass of tart cherry juice contains around 159 calories. Whilst a quarter cup or 40 grams of tart cherries on their own has 133 calories. But the good news here is that you don't even need that much juice to see the benefits. Research shows that just two tablespoons or one ounce of tart cherry juice taken for two weeks can significantly boost your melatonin levels and improve your sleep quality all while only adding 19 calories. Now kiwis contain serotonin which helps make melatonin. And again, research suggests that consuming kiwi fruit may enhance the onset, duration and efficiency of your sleep. And more specifically, it's eating two kiwi fruits one hour before bed that is shown to have an impact. And in an even more recent study, researchers looked at taking kiwis before bed in a group of athletes. And for four weeks, each athlete ate two kiwis before bed. And again, they experienced improved sleep and a reduction in waking up during the night. And sleep is really important to athletes. It helps with their recovery. And maybe this is why some of the Olympians recently touted kiwis as one of their favorite fruits. And kiwis are a great tasting low calorie snack. One kiwi contains around 42 calories. And if you need even more convincing, my fun dietitian fact here is that kiwis contain more vitamin C than an orange, and you can eat the skin too. In fact, I recommend doing this because you'll get more benefits from the fiber. Now, pistachios are one of the best food sources of melatonin, and they also have protein and fiber, further adding to their health benefits. What I recommend is buying the nuts in their shells if you can because the process of removing the nut from each shell before you eat the pistachio will help you eat more slowly and more mindfully, helping to keep your calories in check. And this way you're less likely to polish off an entire bag whilst you're sitting on the couch watching Netflix before bed. And a one ounce serving, or more specifically 49 kernels, will provide 159 calories. And now I'm going to pause here and ask that if you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate it if you hit the red subscribe button below. It really helps support my channel. And if you're looking for healthy, high protein recipes, I'd recommend following me over on Instagram. Now, a lot of us will have heard about the role of magnesium when it comes to sleep. And one large study with nearly 4,000 adults looked at this connection. And what they found was convincing. The more magnesium that people add to their diet, whether it was from food or from supplements, the better their sleep quality and the more likely that they slept more than seven hours a night. But the good news is that magnesium rich foods are numerous and they can fit all kinds of diets. So they should be your first option. You don't have to go down the supplement route. And the best dietary source of magnesium is pumpkin seeds with a one ounce or 28 gram serving providing 40% of your daily value, all whilst only containing 158 calories. And the next best source is chia seeds, with a one ounce serving giving you 26% of your daily needs, whilst containing 138 calories. So try something like a chia pudding or a Greek yogurt with a sprinkle of pumpkin seeds before bed. 
but there are actually many other really good dietary sources of magnesium. So if you're curious, I've put them all into a PDF table, which I've linked, linked in the description box below. You can download for free. Now, if you still feel the need to supplement, remember that supplemental magnesium is more likely to cause adverse effects than your dietary magnesium. And this is why the FDA have fixed 350 milligrams as the tolerable upper limit for magnesium supplementation in adults. Also, you want to possibly avoid magnesium oxide. It has poor bioavailability and it can cause intestinal discomfort, like bloating and diarrhea, which is not something you want before you go to bed. Now, if our goal is weight loss, you can also get really tactical with choosing your bedtime snacks. Because as I mentioned, the foods that you eat can impact your metabolism the next day and how hungry you feel the next morning. So there was this one study and it divided participants into three different groups. Group one were told to eat carbohydrates before bed. Group two were told to eat protein before bed, but specifically whey protein. And group three were again told to eat protein, but specifically casein protein. And casein protein is a slow release protein that we typically get from dairy. And the study had very interesting findings. The group that consumed the casein or that slow releasing protein, they felt less hungry the next morning, which is really good if you are trying to diet because dieting is hard, particularly if you feel hungry. But additionally, the participants that consumed protein before bed, whether it was from the whey group or from the casein group, both groups experienced a faster metabolism the next day in comparison to the carbohydrate group. So what can we learn from this? Well, prioritizing a protein rich snack before bed is a good idea. And to go that step further, try to get a casein source of protein. This could be from a casein specific protein powder, or it could be from a glass of milk, or Greek yogurt, or cottage cheese, or a drink of a low calorie hot chocolate. Maybe have one of these with your sliced kiwi and your sprinkle of pumpkin seeds to really nail the cherry on top. And what's more here is that milk is a good source of tryptophan. And this is an amino acid that your body uses to make melatonin. So again, helping with sleep. And the other really good thing about having a protein rich snack before bed is that it can support muscle repair and slow down age-related muscle loss. And we all know how important muscle is for a faster metabolism. And particularly if you exercise routinely or if you've just started an exercise plan in an effort to control your weight. Because our muscles do repair a lot whilst we're sleeping and giving them some protein to utilize just before bed can be helpful. And an eight ounce or 240 ml glass of low-fat milk has just 100 calories. Now I wanna go back to that tryptophan, that amino acid that helps the body make melatonin because there is good evidence to support it helping with sleep. But for that extra benefit, if you combine these tryptophan rich foods with a small bit of carbohydrates, this helps the tryptophan become more available to the body to be used. So good examples here would be, again, go back to your milk, but maybe have it as a smoothie with some fruit added in. Or another good option is cheese and crackers. Four crackers and one stick of a reduced fat cheese has only 150 calories. And you'll get some of that tryptophan and some protein from the cheese with some light carbohydrates from the crackers. And lastly, half a cup of edamame can provide a wealth of tryptophan with only 94 calories. And the edamame themselves provide some carbohydrates. Now this might sound like a boring snack on its own, but if you pop edamame in the air fryer with some seasonings, I guarantee you have this really nice crunchy bedtime snack. And if you're looking for a cup of tea before bed, that isn't berries, the Irish people watching this channel will understand. Green tea is a good choice. And there's a lot of bedtime teas on the market now too. But I do want to point out and highlight that some green teas and some herbal teas do contain caffeine. So you do actually really need to make sure that you're checking the label that it doesn't contain caffeine because caffeine can impact your sleep, especially if you're drinking it right before bed. And there are little to no calories in a herbal tea. So I think we've learned that you can include nutritious snacks before bed that will help you sleep better without causing weight gain. And in fact, chosen wisely, they can even help support your weight loss goals. And remember that a good night's sleep is crucial for overall health and well-being. So don't hesitate to experiment with bedtime snack options if you feel like they will help you with your sleep. And don't be stressing too much about the calories in a bedtime snack. If the alternative is that you end up not sleeping well, we know that people who are sleep deprived usually overconsume on calories the next day. So having those extra calories before bed might actually be saving you calories in the long term when you look at the bigger picture. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd recommend watching my proven sleep tips video because that has a lot of other helpful tips too when it comes to improving your sleep. Or if you're interested in weight loss, you can check out my weight loss series and I'll leave them all linked on the screen, but also linked below. As a thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video, 
I want to let you know about a free recipe ebook that I have, which I've left linked in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like and a thumbs up, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.